Man, you know I've been wanting to do this. Okay, I am going to sleep good tonight. Okay, it's been a busy day. Okay, dropped some gems earlier for y'all. Now, we have the Gematria or Gamatria decode. However you want to pronounce it. You know, most of the time I'm going to go with Gematria. Right? I mean, we're all products of Zach. Okay? And that's just how it is. We're going with Gematria. So, Gematria from the same root as the word geometry. Okay? Is a way of interpreting Jewish texts by adding up the numerical values of words. Okay? Now, whatever it says down there, I mean, for example, that's not a good example. But it is saying the number 18 is significant. We'll get into that in a little bit. Okay? But we 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 want we want to keep it simple here, okay? Learn gematria, and this is a simple example, okay? Major League Baseball. In the most simple cipher, look, it's A B C one two three. You see the chart, okay? Major League Baseball equals one sixty two. Like there is a hundred and sixty two games in a major league baseball season, okay? Now that's a better example than what they were talking about back there. So, the first documented use of gematria is from a from an Assyrian inscription dating to the 8th century BC commissioned by Sargon the 2nd did I botch that? Is it a Sarian? I think I did. Anyways, look how 8th century syncs up with Sargon II. Hmm. No idea who these people are. We're learning together. You know, a lot of people are afraid to tackle the Gematria decode, you know, because it's something that they're not, they don't really know what it's about. Right, but I'm Math Tucon, Matthew, and I don't back down. I like a challenge. I don't know who these characters are. Look at the synchronicity. I got your back. Sargon the Second was a warrior king and conqueror who commanded his armies in person and dreamt of conquering the world like Sargon of Akkad, or Akkad, okay? I guess that was the original king. <laughs> so, sounds very suspect and scripted. I mean, which is what we're used to. Look how far back it goes. I mean, it's just like comic book characters. Look, this is Sargon the Second. Um... Hmm. Really? So. Wow. I don't know about that. I guess. But so in the future, they're just going to look back at us as these characters. And they're just going to like rewrite the history of what happened. I mean, I don't know. Let's let's stick with the decode here. Sargon the second. Here he is, you know. I can't tell if he's seen better days or not, to be honest. Okay? So, the first documented use of Gematria is from the Assyrian inscription. I don't know. Did I already say that? Let's say it again. Dating to the 8th century BCE, commissioned by Sargon II. Oh, okay. I was supposed to say this other highlighted part. It's Gematria time, right? I believe. Oh, I guess not. 
you know, sometimes you just got to have extra picks in there. Okay. So Assyrians are an indigenous ethnic group native to Assyria. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. A geographical region in Western Asia. Okay, look, we're learning together. Okay? And I just noticed something else here. Look. This is on the fly. You see this? It says 142,000. Numbers can vary. Is that population? Let's go back real quick. You see that? 8th century, 142, and Sargon II, 124. This is Math Tukan. You know, not much is going to get by me here. Okay? You see that? Bam. Okay. Back on track here. The Gematria, Gamatria. Decode, right? We're trying to get to the bottom of this. So these are the Assyrians, the Assyrian people from Assyria, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. A region in Western Asia, okay. So again, paintings, I mean, I don't know, like, okay. So, what do I have here? Okay. Assyria, the kingdom, kingdom of northern Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, is that how you say it? That became the center of one of the great empires of the ancient Middle East. Okay, here it is. So, all of those slides, I mean, do we know what it is yet? I don't know, but... There it is on the map. Okay, it's by Iraq, Turkey, Syria, Iran. Okay, I've heard of those. Whew. Are you still with me? And I don't know. Is that kind of like a sneak diss right there? With the ass? I mean, they were still mocking their people back then, I'm sure, right? I mean, you heard of like the football player, Dick Butt Kiss, and ain't there like a Jake Dick Butt? They like to mock us, you know, rigged sports. Okay. We're on the Gematria decode. Now, interesting here how Assyria syncs up with duality, okay, and this is a Gematria decode. And we see a lot of dualities, right? Okay. Look, I mean, toss Sargon in there and Sargon the second. And look, duality. You see the 92 and the 29. I mean, it's the reflection, right? 92 and 29, and you see the 47 and 74, okay, 52 and 25, 43 and 34, you know, and I guess I just left the 97s in there, but you see what's up here, okay, etymology, classical scholars agree that Hebrew word gematria was derived from the Greek word Okay, <laughs> so some scholars believe it to derive from Greek knowledge of writing. It is likely that both Greek words had an influence on the formation of the Hebrew word. Okay, <laughs> geometry. Geometry, Gematria. I feel a sneeze coming on, too. Okay. I will pause it for a sneeze. Maybe. Maybe not, right? So, 8th century BC. This is, this is the Gematria decode, y'all. 
Look, this is what it means before the common or current era, right? Now, just look how this is how amazing this is, okay? Look at before the current era, 306 and 108. And then in geometry, you see the 36. That's amazing because you just drop that zero and you get 36. Drop all the zeros, you get 18 and 36, right? Double 18, 36. Incredible. Okay. Math to con. Matthew with the Gematria decode here. Okay. Where did it... What is Gematria and where did it come from? Yes, that's going to be the title. Okay. And look at this. I mean, I showed you the 108s, the 36, right? The 306. I mean, just... Look how amazing this is. You see the 207 and the 108 right up here? And, I mean, I just noticed the 9, and 9 times 3 is 27, okay? 9 times 2 is 18. This is just how my mind works, okay? And 9 times 4 right here is 36. 9 times 5, you get the 45. I love it, y'all. Math to con. Okay. So, geometry. Right. Gematria. Look. You see the 108 and two ciphers? I think that's pretty cool because my birthday is 8, 18, 81. And just... Mega connections with 45 and 36 and these numbers. Okay, just all over my life. And you see like the 108s, you know, my life path number is 9, okay? But add it up, 9, 1 plus 0 plus 8, 9, okay? 9 times 4 right here, 36, okay? That's just, I mean, I don't know. That's just cool, I think. Also, 9 times 5. Look, you get 45. Okay? Back on track. You know, that was, I guess I just had to get personal for a second. Okay? So, look, also the other way before the common era. Okay? BCE, right? Before Common Era. We're talking about Gematria here, people. This is difficult. I got your back. You know what I mean? We're learning together. But don't you think it's interesting that before Common Era syncs up with Secret Society? And we see how these Secret Societies operate with the Gematria, right? I mean... With the skull and bones this year in 2023, it's just off the chain. Ridiculous. <laughs> you know? So you see the you see the sync up, right? Okay? Not many picks with Gematria or Gematria online, but I hope you enjoy, you know, check it out. Okay. Again, eighth. Century BCE, I'm born in the 8th month, right? <laughs> Back on topic here. Look, again, look at that connection there, right? The 142 and 52, 8th century syncs up with Gematria people. You see that? Absolutely amazing. And remember, let's go all the way back. Remember the 142, 142,000 estimation on the population here? I mean, right? And then we had Sargon 2 checking in with the reshuffling. Yep. Okay. I hope you're enjoying.
It's been a long day. Like I said, I'm going to sleep amazing tonight, okay? Okay, so Gematria, look. Very interesting. Look at these numbers here. We have the ordinal cipher, ABC123. We have reduction. When it reaches J and so on, okay, J is 10. You just add it together, reduce it to a single digit, add them all together. That's the reduction cipher. Reverse the alphabet, Z is 1, A is 26. Do the same thing with the reduction. Look, 74, 38, 52, Gematria, right? Interesting, Jesus, 74, Lucifer, 74, okay? And we have the 38s, you know, with death, murder, and then a 38 in Lucifer, okay? And there's more, but just in interesting with, with Gematria, because we do these decodes, and it's about death, murder, right? Satan, Lucifer, Jesus, God, whatever you want to call these characters. Okay, and, you know, you hear about Jesus and the flood, okay? The story of the flood in the Bible. Let me go ahead and read it. In the flood account in Genesis, the wicked died and the righteous one was spared with Jesus. The wicked were spared and the righteous one sank beneath the waters of death. There's that word again. Unlike Noah, Jesus did not escape the flood alive. The waters of death rose and drowned him. Noah survived the flood by taking shelter in the ark. If I'm not mistaken, drowned or drowning equals 38 or 83. I may be wrong, but someone check that. Anyways. Okay, so we're talking about a flood. Well, flood, you get the 52. And just for good measure, you get the reflection with 25. I mean, you really need to learn Gematria, people. Like I said, we're learning about where it came from right here. What is Gematria? Where did it come from? Okay, so... You see that? Math to con. And again, with the duality, okay? And just look at this. You get, you get duality all over the place, right? I mean, look. Simply amazing, right? Assyria, Jesus, Lucifer, Flood. Okay. So, I guess this is the original Sargon. You know, had to just throw it in there. And look, it said he flourished in the 23rd century before our current era. That's interesting because it's the year 2023. Um, so Sargon of Akkad, right? <laughs> you get 88 in reverse with Sargon, like the first documented use of Gematria, <laughs> uh, dating to eighth century. I mean, can you believe that? And I forgot to throw it in, but 8th century BCE equals 188 as well. But I think I did pretty good with this decode. And look, it says there's 36 ciphers, okay, with Gematria. You know, if you ask Google. <laughs> Again, interesting, you get the 36, like 666. Six, six. Okay, I mean... And then again, it breaks down to the 18 and the 9, right? Gematria. Okay. We did it, y'all. 
been wanting to do this for a while. We tackled it. We, we got we got to the scripted characters, right? We're not afraid to go back, you know, in time. So, Gamatria, Jamatria, no disrespect either way. Matt Tukon, I respect all of you. I respect this community. I respect this work. Okay, I put in the time. Until next time.